champ, what do you see? What do you see in these fighters? Uh, it's another, what is it, featherweight fight? Yes, it is. I, I expect the uh, same thing. I expect a lot, of, a lot of speed. A lot of, uh, we'll see though. It's interesting. I'm interested to see. A lot of these new faces uh, I haven't seen around the fight game, so it's always nice to see that. Have you met up with some uh, fighters from oh. South Shore, Massachusetts in your in your career? Never. Well, Never. we got a surprise coming, Co Fighter. champ. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting to see new fight camps, uh, you know, new gyms doing their thing. I mean, it's City, like to see the sport growing. Please go nuts for Michael Barrett! Mike Schiller from Granite City Club. He weighs in at 145. Here he comes. I don't know, champ looks a little nervous to me in the red trunks with red trim. Yeah, he's coming out of a pretty good fight camp. I mean, I uh, I trained with Granite City MMA for my uh, most of my MMA career, and uh, Lucas Jan is next to none, man. He's one of the greatest coaches you can get. I know I know what he's pushed his guys through, and uh, I feel like if he's got this guy in there, if it's his first fight, I feel like. Uh, his first first fight, I mean, he's, he's ready. Lucas isn't going to put somebody in there that's not ready to fight. And you know, that's so important, especially when you consider that once that door closes, it's one-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano. So there's no help going to come through once you're inside. Schuler now getting the uh, support from the rest of the club. As I mentioned before, Karen in the multicolor shorts. And Schuler will have black shorts with red. I need to correct that. That's Michael Morris. I beg your pardon. Waiting now for the final instructions. Get ready for Jamie Lee Thurston is going to be performing right after this fight, everybody. Announcing that uh, we'll have some entertainment at the uh, at the uh, intermission. So my mistake. This is Mike Here Morris. Is Michael Morris, everyone. Come on. I beg your pardon, Michael Morris from Barry, Vermont. All right, the fighters are in the cage. The door is locked. Official now will do a little check around the ring. Connect with both fighters. Here we go. Karen in the multicolored shorts. Morris in the black with red. Look out, he nails it with the right. Another right. He's got him in there. Now a left hand cook. Boom, boom, boom. Right hand going down. Morris on top. Watch out, watch out. Back the other way, Karen. This is not enough. Morris all over him. Uppercut with the right hand. Karen goes for the legs. He's got him on the takedown. Karen on the takedown. Underneath is Mike Morris. Morris Mo seems very, very confident on his back, like most guys that fight from Granite City do. So Morris not intimidated, trying to free that left hand. In the meantime, he's trying to tie up the left. And he does it with his turnout sit in. On top is Morris. Morris pile drives him with the right. Boom, boom. Karen sucking for air. On top again, Morris. They're going to go right back with Karen on top. Oh, it's a big right hand. Morris. Big right hand. Boom, boom. The second one, the official's going to break it down. They're going to call the fight. Uh-oh, there's some controversy on this. What happened? The, the official called it. What happened? Uh, it was one of the fighters was down, and he was getting a right hand, and he just called it. I, I, I wasn't ready to wow. say it was and. I didn't see Wow. It. That's a tough call. Unbelievable. I did not see that. Oh, the crowd doesn't like this. As the Barry favorite 
had control of that fight. But the official moved in. I, there was no tap out. The guy that had won, though, I think, was even surprised. Yeah, I'm positive he's surprised. All right, guys, we have a decision here. Please show some respect to the fighters. The decision, the winner out of the blue corner by TKO, Michael, Mr. Fred. So Karen is called the winner. Now, Champ, I'm just gonna talk to you about a TKO. I'm familiar with TKO. I didn't see it, did you? I didn't, I mean, it looked like to me he was defending himself, and I mean it, unless, I, I didn't have the view, unless his eyes rolled into the back of his head, there was no reason for that fight to stop right That's there. a very good point. Maybe the official saw that from inside the ring. From my vantage point, I didn't see it. I just saw him adjusting himself avoiding the various types of approach.